start off our makeup look by using the Smashbox Primer Water, of course. One of my favorites. I feel like I use that every day. Oh yeah, and my fan, of course. <laughs> Then next to primer our face, we're going to use this No Pore Blum Primer. I think that's what it's called. It's by Touch and Soul. It's supposed to help like smooth and like cover up pores. I don't know. I usually travel with it. I seem to like it. I mean, I'm halfway through the bottle. <laughs> up next for foundation, this was like my holy grail over the summer. I used it a lot, mainly because it has SPF 50. It's called a Dream Urban Cover. It's pretty full coverage, um, and I use the shade 128 Warm Nude. Again, I am pretty yellow, so I try to uh, try to match my undertone, and I just go ahead and put a pretty good layer and blend it out with my Elf sponge. For concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the shade Light 18. I actually really do like this concealer. It's not my favorite. I feel like I like the Tarte Shape Tape more, but it's like for the price, I think they're $5 or $6. I mean, you can't beat that. It's like a great concealer. It covers up really well. So I just went ahead and put a layer over everywhere that I conceal. It's usually under my eyes and in like my T-zone. I like the extra coverage especially around my nose as well. And go ahead and just blend it on out. Okay up next we're gonna bake our face and everywhere where we put down concealer. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Loose Setting Powder. It's the translucent, translucent shade. I really do like it. I do feel like I have to use a thick layer, but it does serve its purpose. And for the price, again, you can't beat it. So just go ahead and bake. Um, I usually just do, again, everywhere I want extra coverage. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Powder. This is the shade 220. Oh, oh, it was getting stuck because it's actually brand new. It's my first time really using it. I've always heard great things, but I've never actually used it. So I will keep you informed about how I end up liking it but I just hear it's a great all-over powder, so I really wanted to pick it up. I'm all for good finds at the drugstore. For our brows today, we're actually gonna use a new product as well. This is called the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. It is the shade 3.5. I did wanna try something new on my brows, and I picked it up, I think, on sale at Ulta for like half off part of their beauty steals. Again, I will keep you informed how I liked it. I definitely do like the color, but I felt like I used a lot of product or it, like it didn't like run smoothly through my brows. So again, I'll keep you informed. For bronzer today, we are going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the shade Deep Bronzer, so it is the darkest one they have. For being like the darkest, I do think it's still not dark enough, but it does work for me. But for reference, I'm pretty medium skin toned, light to medium. I'm not very dark, so I definitely think they do need to make a darker bronzer. But go ahead and just um, dust this over your face, your cheeks, your forehead, and your double chin area. And then we're going to go back into that Wet n Wild powder and we're going to bake um, under our contour. Well, actually we didn't contour today, but just our bronzer so it's not muddy and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take um, like a blending brush and slide that down my nose again no harsh nose contour just something light to give my face a little bit of dimension and this is good old Mac Melba I love this blush I feel like I've had maybe two of them it works for any look it's just the prettiest color you can pretty much wear it like with anything so it's the perfect blush color and I love it I use it all the time I'm gonna go ahead and just take this uh, real techniques powder brush dust everything off and then go right into highlight which is Laura Geller gilded honey another product I do love and that is the morphe m501 brush that's what I use to highlight 
So just take it down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose. I love highlighting my cupid's bow. It definitely looks weird at first, but it comes together as soon as you put your lipstick and lip liner on. I do love to highlight the apples of my cheeks, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm not really big highlighting like the upper part of my cheeks kind of going into my brow bone. Like I stated before, I just don't like the look it gives. For I say we're actually going to be using this Master Palette by Mario. I love this. When it came out, I was so excited. Um, we're only actually using one shade today. It's called Lula. It's kind of like a, it looks like an ashy brown. Normally, for an everyday makeup look, I just use my bronzer or my contour powder, but today I was a little bit extra and I actually decided to dip into a palette and use a brown tone shade in this palette. I do love this palette and I don't reach for it much as I used to, but I wanted to kind of go back to it. So just take your blending brush. This is a Morphe M433 brush and I'm just doing little circular, um, motions like through my crease in my eye so just little circles back and forth back and forth and just keep adding shadow just till you get your desired like you know intensity of the shade we're gonna go ahead and spritz our face this is good old fix plus I mean who doesn't love fix plus this one was also like a summer collection fix plus and it has that really good like coconut scent. I love that. And use our fan and then we're going to go into setting our brows. Again, this is the NYX uh, like brow gel mascara in the shade brunette. I love this stuff. Again, it's drugstore. I think it's $5 and it works wonders exactly what it says mascara. It's going to set your brows and keep them in place. And then I'm going to go back into the Laura Geller highlight and highlight my brow bone and also the tear duct of my eyes. I usually only ever really go back into my highlight and do that. It's kind of works best for me and I feel like it keeps the look very cohesive. So since we're not going to use any false lashes today, because that's definitely not what I do on like a normal everyday basis, I'm going to go ahead and layer these two mascaras. This is the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara and then the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. So really what I do is just take each and put apply at least two to three coats. So I do one and then I do the other. I love this combo together. I have noticed that my L'Oreal one is kind of like giving out on me, so I'm going to go ahead and mix some of the Josie Moran Argan Oil. This is like the light version. That's kind of what I do because it makes um, it more wet again, I guess, instead of being so dried out. And I feel like it further like, I don't know, it just like revamps the product. So that's normally what I do when my mascaras are running out. Now for our lips, this is always like my favorite part in any makeup look because I love lip products. This is the Koki lip liner in the shade um, Dusty Rose number 522. I did pick these up, this one in the nude shade, and I actually really do like them. My only gripe with them is I feel like they break so easily. So I feel like I've wasted half the product like breaking it because they're just so soft, but it's such a good product and oh yeah, I don't know what I was doing right there, but <laughs> weird. So I'm going to go ahead and just line my lips and then like I always just fill them in a little bit. It helps your lipstick last longer. And then this is the Bare Minerals. Um, it's like a, like a matte liquid lip, but it doesn't like really dry down matte. It's very like plush and very comfortable. This is the shade Slay. It is very, very like cool tone. It, um, I don't know. I feel like it reminds me of this like old MAC lipstick that I can't even think of because it's very cool tone. But for some reason, like I've been digging it ever since that I got it. I don't know. I like it. And then I'm a gloss girl, especially in the summer and fall. I'm going to go take the Dose of Colors, um, I think it's called Rosé Lip Gloss. Go ahead and just pat that in the center and then with our finger we're going to blend it out. I love blending out with my finger. Definitely gives a more like 
kissable, sexy, pouty look. I love that. Okay, and I totally forgot to curl my lashes before mascara, but that's okay. I'll do it now, even though I know it sometimes it's a little dangerous after you put mascara. But I am being very careful, even though I know it looks really, really weird. <laughs> but this is just a MAC eyelash curler. It's probably one of my favorite ones that I've used, other than the Shiseido one. But I don't have that one anymore at the moment. I did pick this up, and it definitely curls really, really well. So I pretty much just wait a really long time and curl after um, my mascara dries. This again, I use just the eye coal, coal as a tool and I dip it into the Inglot 77 Black uh, Gel Pot Liner. And I'm just tight lining. I always think it looks just the best um, when you tight line because you don't have that gap in between like your pupil and the lashes. It just looks like so good and put together. All right guys, and this is the final look. I really, really hope you like it. Please give me a big thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.